it's Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor, where I help you discover your painting talents and beautify your home. And tonight I have a fun new way for you guys to beautify your home. So uh, tonight we're going to be checking out some chalk couture. How many of you guys have ever heard of chalk couture before? Let me know if, you, if you've heard of chalk couture. If you've never heard of chalk couture, let me know. Um, we'll get just started in here just a second. I'm trying to make sure that my little um, messenger bot is up and working because I've got it all connected so that it can easily send you information about this product if you want to know. Um, okay, let me put this aside. Actually, I may need this again here in a minute. Let me keep this out. I don't know what I was thinking. I knew I'd need this again. Let me try to turn it back on. Okay, I've just got a simple piece of wood. This is what I used to cut all of my door hangers on. It's a uh, plywood underlayment. It's only a quarter inch thick and it's really nice and lightweight. I had a bunch of this on hand left over. Um, I used to cut my plywood into, I mean, my underlayment into like squares so I could put it on my CNC machine. So I have tons of pieces like this just laying around. How many of you guys have never heard of chalk couture before? Or how many of you have? I'm curious to know, are any of you guys already um, chalk couture designers? I actually just signed up this week and my kit comes tomorrow, but one of my friends, Hannah, actually sent me one to just play with and she didn't even know I was gonna sign up, but um, she sent me this to play with and so I haven't even opened it yet. I thought I would save all of this for you guys. And hey, Sherry. And so I thought I would just show you guys step by step because I actually have never, ever, ever used it. So um, we're going to find out together if this is hard or if it's easy. But I've watched so many people do this in tutorials on the internet that I'm like, I can do that. So I'm hoping that's the way you feel tonight when uh, you see me use this. Let me kind of show you first off what it is. It comes in a sleeve like this. And there's two different pieces, two different uh, you might want to call them stencils, but they're actually called transfers. And um, if you like, if you were to feel of them, they have a texture. Hear that? It's kind of like a screen. So they're called silk screen transfers. This white part here is open so that when you put paint over it, the paint will go through the screen and get onto whatever you're painting. So what I've been told is that when you open it up, you're supposed to take a Sharpie and mark the back. Um, I'm going to put on the back of this one, 18 inch welcome. And then on the back of this one, 18 inch established. I can't write. It's all right. I'm the only one who has to read it. And I tried to find this exact transfer on the website, but it's not on there. So I'm guessing it's probably a retired design. I did find one that is very, very similar. So if you guys are interested in this, you can actually just all you have to do somebody test this out and see if it works for me it's something brand new that i'm trying comment underneath this post with the word me just me and it will send you it should send you an automatic message and it will invite you to visit the website for chalk couture so let me somebody let me know if that's working for you okay so you see i've got that written on the back and the reason you write it on the back is so that you know which piece to put this back on that way it will protect it for next time because you can reuse these um, I've been told you can reuse them like up to 50 times or more. So that's awesome. So for those of you guys who make your own door hangers or maybe want to make your own door hangers, um, this stuff is awesome. They have stuff that's like not just the word welcome, but they have like a giant rooster and a really cute farm truck, which I'm going to order ASAP. And they've got flowers and uh, just so many awesome things. And I'm just like, if I feel like a kid on Christmas morning, honestly, I can't wait to try it all. Oh, thank you guys. I'm glad it's working. I, I'm like nervous about this new technology, so we'll see. Okay, so first, before we get into all the fun stuff, because I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm just going to paint this board uh, with the Key West colored paint that I love. And then we're going to add a little bit of a darker turquoise to kind of create um, like a, just a, I don't know, some depth. So not, we're not going to do a stencil on top of it because I was afraid for time's sake. But you really could do a stencil and then you could do the word welcome. That would be really cute. I may do that another night. But tonight I'm just going to, since this is my very first time ever using the product, I'm going to just cover it all in teal. 
and then I'm going to streak in some darker turquoise um, for some effect and depth and stuff just so that it's not just a flat color. But you could take little signs like this and probably mount them on a wreath or put them on your mantle or hang them above your back door. I know we've got a little spot right above the door in our laundry room that is perfect for a sign this size. Um, my kit comes tomorrow and it's supposed to have so many fun things and it. it's got like five different colors of chalk paint that you can use and a bunch of different transfers. And so I can't wait to get that out and play with it and show you guys some more. But for right now, this is the only one that I have because it's one somebody just gave me. And so we're going to try it out. And um, Facebook is not really supposed to let you do like giveaways. So I didn't post at the top that I'm doing a giveaway. But if you guys share this, I'm going to go through the shares and just randomly draw a name. And I'm going to give this sign away. So... Thank you guys if you don't mind sharing it and I will give this away to somebody. Okay, I'm gonna be real quick about painting these edges because I want the top to stay wet for this next part. Or I may just go back and paint the edges in a minute. Okay, I want because for this uh, technique where you um, streak this in, this is the Laguna color. I feel like I'm real scattered talking like 90 miles an hour, but I'm so excited. Okay, so this Laguna color, I'm just squirting just a tiny bit of it in my little egg carton. And I'm taking my brush that still has the ink or the Key West on it. Why don't they let you do giveaways? It's something about, like, well, I mean, they do let you do giveaways, but there's so many rules. Like, you can't ask people to like, comment, and share. And I'm not sure really how you're supposed to do them, but I don't really understand it. And so, um, I didn't put it up in the top of the post because that would, like, flag Facebook. And they can actually, like, shut your page down and stuff. So we're just gonna secretly do a little giveaway. So anybody who shares this, I'm going to put your name in a basket and draw a name. And um, I probably won't like announce it on my page. This is the winner. You'll just suddenly get something in the mail. Or I'll, I'll no, you won't suddenly get something in the mail because obviously I'll have to have your address. So I'll just like suddenly inbox you and say, guess what, you won. And uh, actually I might announce like over on Instagram stories who the winner is. That would be easier than like doing a post and possibly getting in trouble on Facebook with a post. But I want to start doing more giveaways on my page and stuff. So um, this is the way we may start doing is, is you never know if I'm going to do a giveaway. I may just pop in and during one of my Facebook lives I may say, hey, guess what? We're giving something away tonight. Okay, do you guys see what I've been doing? It just creates a really nice little streaky effect. And you can even do this with a darker blue. Like I've got some navy blue here from where I was painting something else a few minutes ago. I'm just barely, barely dipping the corner of my brush in that. And while this is still wet, I'm gonna like streak it on top of here. And it just kind of makes it more interesting looking, but you have to kind of do it while the paint is still wet. I'm sorry, I'm probably not able to read very many comments right now. If any of you guys have questions about Chalk Couture, or you've been thinking about maybe signing up to sell, I'm wanting to build a team. So feel free to private message me your questions or ask them right here on the page, and I will do my best to answer your questions. Like I said, I am brand new at this, but um, my upline is actually um, Brooke Riley from the Refabbed blog, and um, she is awesome. She knows all the things. So if I don't know something, she probably will. So I will get you lined up with, with uh, an answer. Hello, Tammy. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> yeah, we love gift giveaways, don't we, Roxana? <laughs> Everybody loves to win something. Okay, if you guys don't mind holding on for like two seconds. Oh my goodness, we're up to 115 viewers. Okay, so hang on just a second. I'm gonna dry this and then we're gonna do the chalk couture. I gotta get my hair dryer. This shouldn't take like 30 seconds, so just hang on. Go use the bathroom if you need to. Thank you for sharing, Lindsay. This is so pretty. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it reminds me of the ocean. I love turquoise. It has to be completely dry for us to do this talk to tour, so I'm going to make sure it's really, really dry. are all 
also sweet. Thank you for sharing. For those of you who are new watching, I'm going to be giving this sign away to somebody who shares the video. So if you will, just share. And uh, the winner will be messaged in their inbox, and I'll announce it on Instagram stories, probably on Saturday. I want to give people enough time to watch and share. A lighthouse. That would be really pretty, Veronica. You're right. I don't know if this is completely dry or not. Let me check. It's feeling pretty dry. It's got to be really super dry to be able to put this chalk transfer on there. I feel like I'm shouting. Okay. All right. Um, real quick, while I'm waiting for this to dry for just a moment longer, let me pop into the Facebook Live where we are now. And I'm going to give you a link in case you guys are interested in finding a welcome sign similar to this. Um, I, because I said this one exactly isn't on the website, but there was one. This one's 18 inches long. I think they've retired it. There was one that was 12 inches long, which would actually be a lot better for some of you guys for your door hangers. And then it came with two different sizes. Uh, one of the sizes is 12 inches long and the other one, oh, thank you, Tammy. I love it too. Um, and then the other one looked like it was maybe six or eight inches long, but you can tell on the website, it will tell you exactly how big it is. Uh, let's see. I had a photo of it saved to my desktop. Let me see if I can put it right here in the comments with the link. Yes, maybe that worked. Did it pop up in the comments, a picture? But one of them says welcome, and then it says welcome a little shorter, and then it says let's stay home. So it actually comes with one, two, four different transfers. It comes with welcome, a little flower, a smaller welcome, and let's, let's stay home. So I actually kind of like that one even better than this one because it's more versatile. But it's 12 inches. No, no, I'm wrong. It is 18 inches long by 12 inches. So I bet that shorter one's closer to like 10 or 12 inches would be perfect to put on like those little mason jar door hangers. Okay. Let me slow down a little bit. You're sitting in a very loud restaurant. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. From everything that I've watched and read, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to peel the backing off. Because in order to make these last, you know, for several applications, you really have to follow instructions. So I'm going to put that to the side. And what they say is, is the very first time you use one, you're supposed to do a technique called fuzzing which means that you like dab it on something fabric, like your shirt or a towel or something. So I'm just gonna look silly for a second and pat it on my boobs and then peel it off. And we're just gonna do that twice because they say that they're super sticky the first time you use them and this will keep them from like getting too sticky because like if it was really super sticky, it might stick to this and then peel the paint up and then it might ruin your transfer. So by fuzzing it like this, it takes some of the stickiness down just a tiny bit. Thank you for sharing, guys. If you share, you're going to be entered to win uh, this little sign that I'm making. Okay, now I'm just going to eyeball this because that's the way I do everything in life. I hardly ever, ever measure anything. But I'm just going to kind of go by how much I've got above and below it and on the sides. Whoops. And it's pretty forgiving. Like you can stick it down and then peel it up. So if you stick it down and it's uh, and it doesn't feel straight, you could totally move it again. Y'all probably won't be able to see that. Real yeah, you can kind of see it. It's almost the same color as the board. So I'm just smoothing all the bubbles out. And see, this is what we're going to do. And we're going to paint right on top of this. Okay. They come with, or they don't come with. You have to buy these separately. Um, like this transfer... I'd be willing to guess because it's about the same size as the one that I put in the comments. Did you guys see that one? Let me see if I can enlarge that picture and show you on my laptop. This one right here is available on the website right now. It says, welcome. There's two different sizes. And then it says, let's stay home. And then there's like a little flower right there. So you can cut all of those apart like I did and use those. Okay. So that transfer, which is 12 inches by 18 inches, which is probably about the same size lengthwise as this, uh, is 24, is it 24.99? 24.99 on the website. And then the Chalkology paste, which you can use this again and again and again. Um, this, this one's actually a two ounce size. I think now they come in three ounces. The three ounce size is 12.99. And their paste, it's kind of like the consistency of sour cream or, or like 
Cool Whip or something. Yes, thank you, Beth. Beth reminded everybody to share. Um, and y'all are going to laugh at me, but I'm using my kitchen spatula. This actually comes with a spatula when you buy the paste, I believe. But uh, the one that my friend sent me, they forgot to put the spatula in with the package. So I'm just making do with a kitchen spatula. Um, what was I telling you about the paste? Uh, the paste is kind of thick. It's, you're, you're not supposed to use regular paint with this. You're supposed to use this chalk paint. And the reason why is because if you put it on a surface like a chalkboard or some glass or um, something that is non-porous. This wood is very porous, so this is not a good example. But if you put it on something glass or um, plastic or something like that, you're supposed to be able to just wash it off and redo it whenever you want. And so then it's not a permanent application. If you wanted it to be permanent, then you could spray it with some sort of clear coat. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a teensy bit of this stuff and just smear it on here. And you're supposed to just kind of put it on a little bit um, sparingly and then you scrape all the excess off and put it back in the little jar for later. Can you guys see what I'm doing okay? It's really thick. And it actually doesn't smell half bad. Sometimes paint smells terrible, but this doesn't smell that bad. I'm so excited about this. This is the first time I've ever used this product before and I've been dying to get my hands on it and try it. And so I thought, well, I'll be your guinea pig here on Facebook and do it for you. That way, way you guys can see just how easy it is because I'm a beginner and I've never done it before, but if I can figure it out, you can too. You have to make sure and stay on the transfer. <laughs> I almost got it off the wood just then. Oh, that was probably too much. Okay, I've got all the area covered, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape all the excess back in the jar because we want to save as much as we can. And so you're just going to go back and press down firmly with your little squeegee and then stick it back in the jar. And I'm actually getting quite a bit back up off here to save for next time. But they say to work somewhat quickly with this stuff because it dries very quickly because it is chalk paint or chalk paste. And um, so they don't want you dilly-dallying and taking way too long with it because you want to be able to easily wash it back off when you're done. So, and, and since I did not do this video in the kitchen, I brought a bucket of water in here. <laughs> okay, so I got all that scraped back in there. Now we get to peel it up and see what it looks like. No, it doesn't take much to cover it all. Okay. Here we go, the moment of truth in front of 170 people. Oh my goodness, you guys must be sharing like crazy. Okay, I'm just going to carefully, because I'm scared to death, I don't want to ruin my transfer, and I probably should have dried my board a little better before I put this on here. They say it takes patience. Like, you can't get excited and, like, uh, yank it off. And you probably should dry the underside super well before you uh, put this on here. Oh, look how pretty! Oh, I got one spot where I didn't get it pushed through real good. But look at that. Hang on, I'll show you in a second better. Let me um, drop this in my bucket of water because I don't want it to dry out. got like a big tub of warm water over here so I'm just gonna let it soak in that warm water for a moment okay so the instructions are to wash it with warm water get all of the paint off of it and then uh, after you've got all the paint off of it you then you take a Lysol disinfecting wipe and like get all of the excess uh, residue off and then you um, I'm gonna touch up this tiny little spot with my finger and then you uh, lay it like bottom up to dry I only had one tiny little spot that didn't fill in perfectly, but I can go back and touch that up with a paintbrush or something. It's hard to do it with my finger because this stuff is so thick. But let me show you guys how pretty this is. Let me see if I can flip my camera because I know it's annoying to look at words backwards. Hang on, it's taking a second. Settings, flip camera. Here we go. Woo, that's so much better. Let me get that off the screen. 
There we go, how pretty. And so then you could put this like in a wreath or you could just set it up on your mantle or in your entryway. And um, it's really lightweight. So you could even just hang it on a door or something. When it dries, is it sticky again? No, it's actually almost completely dry now and it doesn't look sticky at all. And um, you could even put a clear coat across this to, to, to uh, protect it. But I guess the idea behind this, because I kind of read the little backstory of the lady who invented this stuff, is she had this giant chalkboard. Yes, I did start selling, Lauren. <laughs> so if you're interested, you can be on my team. Um, if any of you guys want information on this, don't forget to comment the word me in the comments and it'll send you a direct link to the website. And I also uploaded a link in the comments earlier to um, one of the welcome signs that's very similar to this one because this one is actually retired. Does the trans Yes, the transfer does stay sticky after washing. Yes. Maybe that's what you meant. <laughs> and I totally misunderstood the question while I go. Um, and anybody who shares this video will be entered to win this sign. I'll mail it directly to you. And I'm going to announce the winner on Instagram stories probably on Saturday. What was I talking about? Oh, so the lady who invented this stuff had a giant chalkboard in her home. And she wanted to be able to personalize that chalkboard and change it out for the seasons. So they actually have really large chalkboards that you can buy from the company. And they're special like porcelain chalkboards. They're like really good. And you can use these on there. And so, like, say I wanted to decorate that chalkboard for Easter, I could put all of the, like, I could put Happy Easter and put cute little Easter eggs because they have all different transfers for different types of seasons. I, they even have, like, an old farmhouse truck that's probably about 12 inches long. You could put that on there, and then they have a little transfer where you fill the back of the tr truck up with Easter eggs. How adorable is that? So you could, like, decorate this whole chalkboard for Easter, you could even like magnetize pictures of your family at Easter all over this chalkboard. And then when Easter's over, you just take a wet washcloth or something and you wash all of this chalk paint off of your chalkboard and you can redecorate it for the next season. Is that not cool? If you guys are interested in signing up to sell this, uh, just comment me and you can go and click the join button on my website and I think it will give you more information. If you want to know more information or have questions, just PM me. Uh, a few things real quick about it. I know you earn 25% sales off of your website sales. You can earn up to 40% if you're buying inventory to sell at like craft fairs or home parties and stuff like that. You can have demo home parties where you do this kind of fun stuff with your friends at the party. They have little make and take things that you can buy to do make and take parties. So if any of you guys are trying to think of a way to make extra money, this is an easy way to do it because it really doesn't require a ton of uh, expertise or talent or anything like that. This is great for anybody who can just pretty much use a spatula and wash off a transfer. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? I probably need to put that in the water too. Feels like there was something else I was going to tell you guys about this stuff. Um, oh, and if you are a designer, I think uh, it's it's uh, $99 for the startup kit and then $20 a month and the $20 a month covers not only um, Your website fee for like having a website for them to shop on. Thank you Faye, but it also covers um, They send you they mail you a transfer each month and it's supposed to be themed with whatever that month is so like February's transfer was something that said luck of the I'm a lucky charm or something to do with uh, St. Patrick's Day and then in March, the transfer they're going to mail you says bloom and it has little flowers and like a cute little vine that goes on each side of the word bloom. So that'll probably be the one I get in my kit. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. But my kit comes tomorrow. So be prepared to see me do a lot more of this kind of stuff because I think it's so fun. And if you guys are scared of doing handwriting on any of your door hangers, this would be a great way to um, kind of shortcut that because uh, the one that I linked up, it has one that's up to 18 inches long and then one that looks like it's more like 10 or 12 inches long. And so those would be two really good different sizes for your door hangers. I was trying to find a door hanger for an example, but they're all kind of stashed away at the moment. But anyways, I'm glad you guys joined me. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments or send me a PM. It is awesome, isn't it, Tanya? I'm so excited. I'm glad I finally got to use it. This thing has been sitting on my counter waiting for the perfect moment, and I finally just decided to go ahead and do it today. So I'm so glad that I did. I may have to make another one because I'm going to have to give this one away. 
you guys share the video, you'll be entered to win the sign, and I'm going to give it away. So don't forget to do that. And if you want to know more about Talk Couture or want to go to the website, type in me, and it will send you a link through Messenger directly for the website. All right, well, i got to get off here and get my kiddos to bed, so I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for joining me. Y'all have a good night.